when the Latif Jakonde administration commissioned the low-cost housing estates across the state, Lagosians, most especially civil servants, got the largest share of the allocation. This, many say, is due to the love of the Lagos state government for its civil servants. Fast forward to the year 2015 with a retired but never tired civil servant who admires his predecessor's accomplishments. Lagos under Governor Akinumi Ambodi was set to witness another man of the people. In two and a half years, governance has become more inclusive and intensive. Governor Ambodi achieved this feat by working with the community development associations. They participate in formulating policies and support the government to execute projects. I have to give him credit because before his advent, no government recognized CDA or CDC. Only probably some from local government chairman who just want to use them as mobilization, probably to do one thing or the other. But this present governor, I give him kudos and I wish him he come back second time. Because if, if not for his initiation, you wouldn't have been here. Are you getting me? But because now you are here now, we now talk out our mind, he will, he will hear it and we do something for him. If not this year, we do it next year. According to the chairman of the Zone ACDA, residents in this community came together to achieve goals that can't be achieved individually. Uh, we decided to, to, to group ourselves together through the landlord association to say, what are we doing? that the, the land association is not actually recognized by the government. We started to form a CDA in which we believe is the fourth tier of the government, which we have been trying our best since then. We registered this CDA in 1999 to make sure that at least we are part of the beneficiaries. We have some group of people that decided to support and we, we, we spend our money to develop it, to register it, Start moving to Alausa, move from Alausa to Lass and Survey, asking for this and that uh, documents in which our people supported and we are able to satisfy them with all the requirements. And by the special grace of God, we are able to get all the necessary documents to acquire this land for the CDA. When eventually we acquired this place, it was uh, in the swamp that we cannot even hold any meeting here without buying a, a keg of a, a kerosene to kill the ant uh, soldiers. So when we eventually acquired this thing, it was a struggle because uh, this piece of land was already sold to a school authority. No, we are going to fight for our right. This is exactly what inspires us to see that we are going to get the... And we approached the ministry. They asked us for some documents which we actually submitted, including tax tolerance of few of us which we submitted and uh, we got the papers back to some extent. So we later start pursuing the survey uh, plan to let it reveal our name. We meet the ministry, we meet, we go to survey general office to at Alausa and then uh, we are helped out. With all the population we have here, it's only one CDA. So and I went and I came back to my leaders. I told my leader that it is time for us now to have our own CDA because all the people that are coming to my table, they are not many and they, are, they, were begin, they have been given CDA. And in the whole of this Amuwo to extension is one CDA. So when I called my leaders, they came together, they had meeting and we decided to have our own CDA. Being an area dominated by retirees, most of the self-help projects executed have been minimal due to financial support. There are 13 zones in the estate and its extension, but Zone A CDA has since inception complemented the effort of the Lagos State Government with projects such as construction of drains, regular landfilling of the community land, speed breakers for motorists, to mention a few. This community hall was built by Zone A Community Development Association. Those of us that are members, we contributed money, we put our effort physically, financially to put this recreation center in place. 
Since the inception of the CDA, we have done our best in such a way that all these roads, we make all these gutters. We arrange them in such a way that at least the erosion doesn't come to the main road. If you look at this place from that Fagbem side there, down to, to that school, you will see a security gate there. We mounted it. We employed the uh, service of security men to work for us, to open it and close it for us. And if you look at the place, you see some speed breakers. Those speed breakers is because of our children when going to school in the morning, because of people that used to overspeed. We make a speed breaker so that at least it's part of the uh, community activities. We'll be talking about uh, seven to eight million that we have spent. Because acquiring this land alone is, uh, costs us a lot. You know, this is a high brow area. And uh, although they give us some concession, for see here we pay. We also delve into the elasticity of the area. Mm. Like in this zone now, the, the, we have uh, two transformers, but it is not enough for us. We have to press and acquire another one. But two of these projects are of major concern to these community leaders. The connection of electric power transformer and the blockage of the drains. The, one of our major problems here is this our sewage system. Eh? It is not working. The, 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 main, the main septic tank is there, it has broken down. If you, if, if you go around now and look at this, those quarters, you see people passing, passing their skater into it. It's, this, this will cause an epidemic. We have written and written and written, but we hope that we see, for him to have recognized us now, he will be coming and do something for us to make sure that the, the sewage system are working. It was not like this before. That's a big gutter that flows like this. But after some time, we discover that the water cannot flow again. There's no leakage to the other side, nor to go to the main canal. They need to break this place and make a, a very big uh, gutter. So that the channel will go this way. It is the prayers of these leaders that one day, the once swampy area will get attention from appropriate quarters through the Lagos State government or private sector for adequate developments. Thank you.